Welcome everybody. I'm Kalani and you are the audience. Thanks for being here. This is our annual concert here at Flute Harvest, which as you know, we do each year for uh, not only the Sisters of the Holy Spirit Retreat Center, but also friends and family. Thanks for coming. Um, this is our, this is our kind of uh, our barn show. Uh, family show to as a culmination of our of our four days of joyous music making with new friends um, everybody here is an amateur musician so we're just sharing our, our little small uh, successes in a lot of ways and I want to say up front that these are very brave people because they're not professional musicians most of them uh, at least maybe in their own minds they are, but <laughs> none of them get paid for, for playing. Some of them get paid for not playing. No, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> that's, that would be me, too. Uh, so what's good, what you're going to see tonight are people that are trying some things out that they learned this week. Some uh, people are writing music and creating songs, um, mostly from this week, the last three or four days. And they're playing with new friends, and a lot of this is just going to be, you know, right on the edge. And so, you know, you know how that goes. So I want to, you know, just bear with us as we as we stumble our way towards ecstasy tonight, <laughs> musical ecstasy um, with the concert. All right, and I want to acknowledge um, my co-conspirator, uh, co-teacher Clint Goss, who's busy on the piano right now. And you're going to meet his lovely wife in a moment, Vera, who's going to be our MC. So with no further ado, I want to introduce you to our, our Flute Harvest 2019 participants as we play a welcoming piece for you.
as on the internet, because this is going to be going onto the internet, are going to have a wonderful show for you tonight. I sound like Ed Sullivan, don't I? Right? Well, no problem. First up, we had a fun, fun week here this week. Um, we had people from all over the United States and Canada. And our first performers are what I'm going to call the California Trio, because they all come from California. So Peggy, Jackie, and Art, take it away. Former, um, really took to heart our motto for flute harvest, which is play, play, play. She played so much that literally an hour before her flute cracked, her flute cracked. And fortunately, Clint was able to repair it, and here she is, Miss Diane with long tones and a fixed flute. So this is uh, a little song um, I wrote this afternoon to share with you.
out. All right. <laughs> At Flute Harvest, we have a lot of different things that we do. We learn all about ornaments. We learn about scales, all part of the play, play, play philosophy. And one of the things is, how do you do the matchups? You know, it's like, hey, do you want to play with me at the concert? Sure, let's come on up. So next we have Peggy and Clint. And, uh, oh, here, okay. And uh, uh, if you'd feel like clapping along, that would be fine. When we get to it. So the Native American flute has so many different songs in it. You heard the little zippy number that we just had? Well, our next performer is going to have a wonderful pentatonic chant. John. <coughs> Thank you. My, my earliest uh, efforts to transcribe native melody or native notes um, into uh, Native American tablature um, led to a lot of frustration because my limited Western rhythm and, and understanding uh, left me quite empty, you know, um, and not able to find <clears throat> something there. Um, it's, this week, um, one thing I learned and come to appreciate is um, is that the the chanting is really there was their music you know and uh, and the flute being and the chants were very often in pentatonic scale and so the flute is pentatonic and and so uh, I look forward to actually taking the flute and trying to replicate the the chanting in a chant more of a chanting manner uh, uh, when I get back home but what I'd like to share with you is and hopefully is convey that experience here. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> 
so far we heard a couple of different sounds that that Native American flute can make. Now, by incorporating a new scale, it gives your flute a totally different sound. And we are going to hear Journey and Return in the Sephardic scale with Jonathan. So I've chosen to do Sephardic scale because as I was walking through the center, I noticed the story of the Sisters of Social Work that they spent their time originally in Hungary and their involvement with saving people from the Holocaust. And so I was inspired to play in the Sephardic scale tonight. As we have learned this week, the Native American flute and the spoken word go really well together. And one of the things that we did here this week was something called story songs, where there's a story written and you play your Native American flute to it and who knows what can happen. So Diane, Bruce, and John on drums are going to perform Love lost for you.
Now, Kalani, Clint, and I absolutely love couples that come to our workshops. Kalani and his wife, Tomiko, they both work together as music therapists, so they do that together. Clint and I put on music workshops, flute workshops, we do that together. And this next couple, first of all, they win the prize for coming the farthest, all the way from Ontario, no, not California, but um, Canada, and they both flute. So I'd like to welcome up Anna Rosa, Jonathan, and Kalani on drums. <laughs> As I mentioned, the Native American flute and the spoken word, like haiku, like poetry, go really well together. And here, in addition to her dancing skills, we're going to have a poem with Diane and John on the flute. This actually was inspired by Kalani, who spoke to us of mindfulness and the importance of mindfulness in your life. And it occurred to me how many moments, important moments, we don't listen to, we just, they go away. And life is really a series of moments, and it seems to me they're like, so you can't hear them unless you're paying attention. So this is what came to me. Do you think you know me? Mm -hmm. We've never met. I peaked in a moment, was experienced, was transformed. In the sweet sound of a flute, I was reborn. I long to tell you what words cannot explain, what it is like in a moment when I'm one with the world. Cannot be created cannot be planned, it can only be alluded to in the language of man. In a moment, in the music, time is unconceived. The sound, the vibration, all I can perceive. The sun breathes onto the flowers. The wind whispers to the trees. I am nourished in the music and rejuvenate as a seed. And so, I grow younger, regenerated, renewed. Never again am I. I am now not who you knew. So 
what happens at flute harvest stays at flute harvest. <laughs> anyway, the Native American flute has so many different styles of music within it. It's got the beautiful Native American Indian style. It's got jazz. It's got an Irish jig. To take us into New Age, we've got art accompanied by Jackie. During the course of this week, this next performer has shared so much of her experience of the Native American flute and culture, having been married to a Lakota medicine man, and of course doing dozens, hundreds of sweat lodges. We are very pleased to have Diane perform the wind song chant. Yes, so flute playing is new to me. Many years ago, 23, I went on Vision Quest and the ancestors said, sing in this way. So I have. 
this song, the wind song, I lived amongst the Lakota and the Ojibwa in their reservations. The wind song is from the Ojibwa. It is from a ceremonial chief. It's a new song, it's not old traditional, but a new song that's asking the wind to bring the grace and beauty and answers to our prayers to help us with that. It's a vocable. we offer here at Flute Harvest is different types of digital recording equipment. We have loopers that we put into a room and it's open 24 hours and people go in there and loop away. We've got a microphone set up so that people sit with headsets on, play their flute, and are able to listen to the beautiful music that they create thanks to the microphone. And these two guys spent, I think they were in there the most, and I think they were there the most until like 11 p.m. one night. So double J's, John and Jonathan. Um, there are some cultures that believe <clears throat> that the uh, most direct path to the soul is through the nose, unadulterated by lie, words of hate, you know, character assassination. And um, I really feel good today to be able to share the cultures, you know, of Hawaii, you know, and the nose flute with uh, Jonathan and the Native American flute.
The Native American flute is wonderful when played by itself. It's also great if you have another flute player to play with. What happens if you don't have that? We have something called backing tracks, and Karen is going to show that in wonderful style. <laughs> Thank you. So this piece is called East West, and it has feelings of both Eastern music and Western music but blended together. things that we did at Flute Harvest this week is to play our feelings. Everything from anger to love to disgust, that was one of my favorites. But um, here, we are going to play Heaven's Feeling, Jackie and Clint.
So you've probably seen here lots of different size flutes. You've got the little flutes that are high range. You've got the median flutes that are mid range. You've got the nice long ones that Clint was just playing, which was um, low flute. Well, what we're gonna see next is a double flute with Jonathan playing the Aramaic song. With? With, and we can't forget, with Miss Diane. <laughs> Um, learning Aramaic became important to me because of the understanding of how important sound and vibration is. And my favorite pair, prayer was given to us by the Master, the Lord's Prayer. So I wanted to find out what it felt like for him to pray this prayer. Uh -oh. American flute is wonderful for playing imagery. It brings imagery to life. And so if we all closed our eyes, Peggy is going to take us on a wonderful river journey. This song was inspired by sitting next to the Virgin River in Zion National Park. I was listening to the water bubble over the rocks, splashing against the shore, quietly going down and around the bend where I couldn't see it anymore. So since it was playing its music to me, I decided to play my song back to it.
as we'll soon see, the river inspires so many flute songs, poetry readings, and this next person, without my giving too much away, the creativity just flowed from her. So Karen, take it away. My name is Molly, and I'm starring in the story I'm about to tell you. My full name is Molly Kuehl. I'm one part oxygen and two parts hydrogen. My friends, and I consider you all my friends, call me H2O. And when this story begins, I and my friends are in Mother Cloud, and we're dancing. And as we dance, we swirl around, swirl around, and Pretty soon in the swirling, we're hugging each other, and we form this beautiful droplet. And we're falling down, 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 down. Suddenly, we seem to be moving faster and faster and faster and smash, flowing and pushing and shoving and rushing down towards a narrow, high-walled canyon. Boulders, crashing waves, turbulence, and we have to make our way through that. The sun is shining down, it's warming us, we're feeling all cozy and comfortable, and we feel ourselves lifting up, up, up. And at 
some great height, there is Mother Cloud, and we pass into her billowing bosom, and we begin to dance. <laughs> You see why I didn't want to introduce the piece as Molly Kuehl? Because that would have taken away her wonderful thunder. As we know, the Native American flute has so many different notes in it. It's got staccato notes. It's got perlando notes. It's got rhythmic chirping. There's so many different ornaments, I don't want to take your time listing them all. But one of my most favorite beautiful forms are long tones as demonstrated by Jonathan on his wonderful drone flute. So this is a double drone, or actually a double melody flute. Her name is Abaya, and I received her this past Sunday. And uh, very gratefully, the sisters accepted her on my behalf and let her go into my hands. And so what I'd like to do now is just play uh, a song or a melody, which is to express thanks to Clint and Vera and Kalani for their great openness and sharing this past week, to all the other participants in the group who have been so supportive and so very welcoming. And very much I would like also to offer this as a sign of respect and gratitude and honor to the community and to the, the spirit at, that pervades this place and the service that it provides. So, here it goes. Setting. I think we're 
We're setting up, are we setting up for our finale? Okay. We're setting up for our finale. Don't tell anyone. Um, I just want to pause for a second and, and take in and acknowledge, maybe give a little moment just to witness, you know, not just the bravery that it takes to get up here and perform, because I, like I said, most of the people here are not used to standing up and performing in front of a crowd, but just, just the acknowledgement that music, beautiful, heartfelt, meaningful, powerful music belongs to all of us and can come from any of us. And that's what I've witnessed tonight, is just people expressing from their heart, from their core being, and emoting and, and bringing beautiful music into this, into this space and into our hearts. And I've received that, and I thank you, everybody, for that gift. Yeah. Really, I, I've enjoyed this immensely. <laughs> but we're not done. Because we're going to do, uh, we have a tradition at flute harvest. So we need all the flute harvesters to get their A flutes up and ready. Also, I was thinking, you know, it is, it is harvest season now, right? And a lot of people have talked about kind of harvest relevant topics. But, you know, the big takeaway for me, I mean, maybe what's, why it's called flute harvest is because we plant seeds, we reap, you know, we, we, we plant, we sow seeds, and we reap that harvest. We plant lessons and we, and we reap great feeling and emotions and, and these benefits, like spiritual benefits and, and laughter and all the good things that we, that we value in life, like those moments that, that you were talking about earlier. And that's really what it's about. That's what it's all about. That and the hokey pokey, right? <laughs> All right, should we come up? Let's start it, you and Clint, and I'll join in, and then we can have everyone else come and jam along. Okay, so this is our finale. We want to thank everybody for, for coming out and being a great audience. We appreciate that. This is the 2019 rendition of the Flute Harvest Blues. And well, there's a sing-along part. And if you know it, that would be really weird. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't even know it. But if you know it, tell us how it goes, because we'd like to sing it. <laughs>
Thanks for coming out tonight, everybody.